everybody, what's good YouTube, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a gym review of Taz's gym. This is the gym I currently go to. Um, it's been my permanent gym for the last probably like two months maybe, month and a half, whatever. As soon as the lockdown finished and gyms reopened, so this is the gym. It's mad sunny today. Um, but yeah, anyway, so just arrived, I'll show you the outside. This is like a gym that's literally... They haven't got a Facebook page, just like an Instagram page, but they've got a few photos and it hasn't been updated for ages, so it's a bit of like a... You probably wouldn't know this gym existed, um, but I know just because one of my mates told me about it. So, I'll show you... See that, Tavis gym. Uh, yeah, it's owned by um, this guy who used to be a bodybuilder. Um, it's a pretty sick gym. It's Everything is quite close together. Um, but yeah, so, let's go have a session. I'll do a quick tour, show you all around. I'll uh, show you a couple of machines that I really like. And yeah, so enjoy the video. I did forget my pre-workout, which pissed me off. So I've got a relentless just to help me out sort of thing. But anyway, so I'm gonna have a quick uh, workout to tell you back and biceps. So yeah, uh, catch you in the gym. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick voice over here. I've got the video playing as well. So as you can see, lap pull down machine, um, Smith machine, dumbbells that go from 2kg up to 70kg, the big one, so a decent bit there. That calf machine there is so good. Um, deadlift platform, which is good because you ain't got to fight for the space. Incline bench, it gives a flat and a flat bench. Uh, leg press, um, the hat squat machine there, it's just sick, it's like the best leg machine I've used. Hard machines, leg machines, there's a lot of machines here. Um, little cardio section at the back, if you my bad hand. This is the upstairs. You can see it's a lot of stuff in a small space. It is a bit crammed, but you get like, it's never a busy gym. You get to use everything. And they've got a lot of stuff in a small space, which is, which is really good. Um, and then upstairs is a bit of like a boxing bit in the one sort. Uh, so random little punch from me. But yeah, loads of different bags, heavy bags. Um, I think it's a speed bag, quite a few other stuff. And then a little bit more uh, cardio machines at the top. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, the upstairs as well, it's like arm machine, so the leg machine which is good for the women who want to grow the booty. Uh, it's big nick in the corner, a couple of ab machines. So yeah, this is just like a quick overview of the gym, showing you pretty much everything they've got there. And like I said, it's a lot of stuff in a small space. Uh, now I'll show you a couple of my favourite machines. This is a chest machine. Um, it's it's a weird, it's like a, it's like a peg fly, but it's fixed where a lot of them you can like move it a bit, but this is you feel it so much and when you're in a stringer you see your chest uh, muscles pop so it's, it's pretty sick. Uh, and this leg, this ab machine here is good because it does the uh, upper abs and lower abs at the same time as it's like you're kind of closing yourself inwards. Uh, sick. And then yeah this this leg machine, because I don't really do squats very much, but uh, this hack squat machine I quite enjoy. Uh, it feels just as good, decent range of motion as well. You can go lower if you want. Um, you can load it up with a lot of plates. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a great machine. And then this is a clip that I didn't film today, I filmed it a few days ago. Uh, this is just like a side lateral machine. And this one you feel really well. Um, especially when you're leaning against the pad, you feel it in your uh, side and in your rear delts as well a bit. So it's great for building up the shoulder. And my last gym didn't have one of them and I really missed it. Uh, but yeah, it's just a random clip of me benching here. Um, Today I ended up doing a bit of like a full body, just because I didn't go to the gym yesterday, I'm not going to be able to go tomorrow because I'm going away for a weekend. So I thought I'd get a bit, a bit of everything in, hit a bit of a full body workout. So yeah, this, that was the um, quick clips of the gym. So price wise at this gym, it's £3 for a day session. Um, but if you go as a couple, uh, if you go with your missus or whatever, uh, it's £5 a day. So that like they're kind of for the two of you. Uh, for a month, it is £25 for a man and £20 for a woman. For a woman, um, don't really know why. We're happy to gender equality and that stuff, but oh well. But if you go as a couple, as me and my girlfriend go together, it is £35 for the pair instead of £45. So you do save a tenner, which is pretty good. Uh, but yeah, in all in all, it's a really good gym. It's a couple of machines I really like. Uh, it's never really busy. I think the most has been is about 10 people. And even then, like, I've never been to, like the bench press is pretty much always free, which is rare, like so many gyms like that I used to go to, like that would be the machine that was always taken. But now it's like, let's say it's constantly free, loads of free weights as well. Um, there's two different sets. There's one rack that goes from uh, two kilogram up to 40 kilogram. There's a separate rack that goes, that's in like two kilogram incre increments. 
I think that's the word. Uh, and there's another one that goes from uh, 2.5 kilogram up to uh, 70 in five. So once again, I don't think I'll be bench pressing 70 kilograms for a long, long, long time. Probably never in my life. But you know, one day if I decide to smash it, whatever, it's ready for me. But yeah, so check that gym out. It's Taz's gym in Cannock. Uh, sick gym. Definitely worth trying out if you know you, you're, you're local, you want to try a new gym. Um, I said day pass is three quid, so tell your mate, try it out, let me know what you think. Um, so if you're local, definitely give it a go. Like, I randomly found it because I haven't really got a Facebook or an Instagram. There's an Instagram page that's actually the guy's own, but he rarely puts photos of the gym like or updates. He kind of puts like one photo on every couple of months. So it's kind of like a, it's a gym you don't really um, search for, or I only found out said because a friend told me. But yeah, check the gym out. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like. Uh, if there's any other local gyms, kind of carry a Stafford area, Midlands wise, let me know and maybe I'll do another uh, gym review on them. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Until next time, see you later.